Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jan and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. Today's video, we are comparing the multi-chrome eyeliners from ColourPop to the multi-chrome eyeliners from Kaleidos. If you haven't been around for a while, uh, my sister gifted me the entire six piece collection of the Kaleidos eyeliners for Christmas and my stepsister gave me some monies for Christmas and my birthday, and I used some of those to get the collection of ColourPop eyeliners. I'm gonna have a bit of a cranky session in a minute, but before I get to that, let me just say that if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you can do that now. I upload a bunch of videos every week. Click the bell if you have that option and choose all and YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video. Okay, so let's start with the cranky pants part. I placed my order on January 7th for the ColourPop eyeliners. And on January 10th, I got a notification saying the shipping label, label had been created. It says it's shipped, but it really just means the shipping label has been created. Three days it took them to create the shipping label. And then it was an additional 14 days before I got the eyeliners. They came in on the 24th of January. That's crazy. Like, ColourPop's a big company. They were coming from California. I don't normally get fussed about shipping times. Anything can happen, whether uh, sick postal workers or DHL drivers or what have you. Anything can happen. But that was a very long time for in order to ship and arrive from California to Vermont. That made me really cranky. I'm not really a fan of ColourPop as a rule. I just think for so long they were a pumping out product. And for me, it felt like we don't care that the world's in crisis and that people can't afford to feed themselves. You should just be buying our makeup. And that felt oogie. And that is just a my perspective on the whole thing, you know, but that's where I stand anyway, or sit as it were. So I thought I would swatch the eyeliners on the palm of my hand. Cause if I'm being honest with you, I've already filmed this video and it was a disaster. <laughs> so I just deleted that footage and pretended like it never happened and I thought we would start fresh and I figured I'll pull my hand gives me a little bit more movement to show you the shifty goodness of the eyeliners. So let's start with the ColourPop Multichrome in Movie Star. There isn't one in the Kaleidos, Kaleidos collection that matches this one. Did I just break it? I for sure think I did. Okay, so here's Movie Star. I can't see in the viewfinder what you can see. So hopefully it's working and hopefully I will have zoomed in so you can hopefully see. There's that. a lot of hopefully is happening here. Okay, and the one from Kaleidos that doesn't have a match to ColourPop is the shade Sea Sparkle. I will give ColourPop points for using packaging that you can tell the difference. I think that's very helpful because these Kaleidos ones, though they are very, very pretty, it's really hard to tell the difference. And the little stickers on the bottom. If you are even a little bit older, you probably won't be able to read them. So, and here we have Sea Sparkle. I don't think that one actually shifts. I think it's just like 
a chrome. Okay, so next up we have Power Trip from ColourPop. And I think this one has, I mean, only sort of similar. There, nah, there's really not one that's like super similar with the Kaleidos. This one is purple and turquoise and maybe some, I don't know, I'm really bad at seeing all the shifts. And there isn't one from Kaleidos that is similar to this. Next up from ColourPop, we have Wild Idea. Now this one I think is super similar to two of the Kaleidos eyeliners. So I'll swatch this one and then we'll swatch the two from Kaleidos. Okay, here we have Wild Idea and I've switched where I put it on my hand. So maybe you can see it a little better. I don't know. I'm, I'm so bad at swatching, I'm so sorry. But hopefully you can see it. I can see green, turquoise, and blue and it is beautiful. So the ones from Kaleidos that I think match this are Limelight and Seven Seas. So we've got Limelight here. I'll swatch next and then we'll do Seven Seas. Okay, <laughs> terrible swatch, but there you have Limelight right underneath Wild Idea. Now we have seven C's on the bottom, limelight in the middle, and wild idea on the top. These swatches are atrocious. I don't even know if you can see them. Holy moly. Hopefully you're getting the gist of it because they look very, very similar. I think seven C's and limelight from Kaleidos one of those could have been swapped out for something else. They are that similar. I really like bright green eyeliner, so I'm not mad to have both, but I think the either Limelight or Wild Idea or Seven Seas would be a good addition to a collection, but all three certainly aren't necessary. I will tell you, the Kaleidos ones are much more difficult to remove than the ColourPop ones. <laughs> okay, next up we have Pixie from ColourPop. And I think that is very, very similar to Tourmaline from Kaleidos. So let me get those swatched. There we have Pixie from ColourPop. Oh, so hopefully, I never know. And then we'll do Tourmaline from Kaleidos. All right, we have Tourmaline and Pixie. Kaleidos on the bottom, Pixie on top. I think they're very, very similar. Similar enough, I think, that you certainly wouldn't need both. Okay, the next closest ones, I think, are Ventura Boulevard from Kaleidos. And, nope, from ColourPop, and Night of Creation from Kaleidos. Okay, we have Night of Creation on the bottom and Ventura Boulevard on the top. I don't know what you can see, I'm so sorry. Full on, they're really pretty. And they both look purple when I look at them directly. All right, the final two are going to be Solaris and Actin Up. I don't think they're super similar at all, but we shall see. So there we have Actin Up, which is like a green, purple, and it looks like there's supposed to be some red. I don't know. If you can see any red or not, I can. All right, and last but certainly not least, we have Solaris from Kaleidos. And that's like a red, orange, green, 
a lot of these are they're multi chromes but i i do really think that they're basically duo chromes but they are really fun and really pretty so let me get this cleaned off and i'll come back and tell you my overall thoughts on these liners okay i definitely think you don't need all six from both collections. I think if you really like the colors, pick and choose which ones you've used the most. Um, I cannot speak to how these wear on the eyelid or under the eye, but these from Kaleidos wear beautifully in the waterline. And I have had the opportunity to try a few of the ColourPop ones in the waterline, and they work really well too. Where's the other one? Yeah. And they work really well too. I personally really like a colorful waterline. I think you could do a super wearable look and throw a little bit of a colorful liner in your waterline, maybe up against your lower lashes and, you know, just make it a little bit fun. Like mostly responsible and grown up, but a tiny bit fun. Or you could do your makeup like me and just whatever makes your boat float from day to day. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if this was helpful to anyone or if maybe I just kept you company for a few minutes today. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Either way, I appreciate you hanging out with me. Be good and remember to be kind to you.